If you don't have a rope bag, a coiled rope makes it easy to bring your rope to and from the crag and move it between areas during your day out climbing. Let's do the butterfly coil, which is easy to learn and reduce twists in the rope. So first, make sure your rope is flaked on the ground. This way, you start with an untangled rope and it's easier and faster to make the butterfly coil. It also provides a time to inspect your rope for any weak spots, cuts, frays, or other signs of damage. Pick up one end of the rope and using your body as an object to wrap the rope around, make arm span length segments with the rope. Do so by holding one end with your left hand and wrapping the rope over your shoulders behind your neck and grabbing the, that end of the rope at your right hand. Keep hold of the rope in both hands as you loop the rope back and forth at equal lengths across your shoulders. Leave about eight feet of uncoiled rope so that you can wrap it. Lift the rope off your shoulders, keeping the ends at equal lengths and bend the whole thing in half about where your neck was. Hang it over one arm and use the loose end to wrap the whole thing. Make three to four wraps just above the midpoint and leave at least four feet or more loose. Use your remaining four feet and make a bite through the top of the coil. Tuck both ends through it. From here, you can either carry the coil as is or you can use one strand over each shoulder, crossing them at your lower back and then bringing around front and tying at your waist. Always uncoil and flake the rope before climbing to eliminate twists or potential knots that could interfere with climbing and belaying. Here's a tip. New ropes will tend to twist a lot and can create pigtails, which can interfere with belaying. As soon as you unpack it, flake it a few times before taking it out climbing. This might take a little while with a new rope. 